New tonight, should public servants be punished for posts on their personal social media page? Well, an internal investigation within the Houston Fire Department hopes to determine just that. Ivan News reporter Sonia Zad joins us live to explain this. Sonia? Well, Dave, since we started asking questions this afternoon, this HFD employee changed his Facebook page setting to private and removed where he works. Now, this investigation is just getting started, so we're choosing not to name him. This is the image at question. The veteran of the Houston Fire Department posted it on his Facebook timeline and at one point even as his profile picture. When we brought it to the attention of the Houston Fire Department, Chief Terry Garrison responded with a statement. As soon as I was aware of the situation, I adopted a complaint on the matter, launching an internal investigation. Your rights of freedom of speech and freedom of expression stop when you work for somebody to the extent that there's policies in place. When it comes to social media, the city of Houston's policy, which extends to all employees, including 4,000 HFD personnel, is explicit. Use common sense. Remember what you write is public. Refrain from posting information that you would not want your supervisor to read or that you would be embarrassed to see in the newspaper or on television. When you have a job like as a fireman, you can express yourself, but you have to do it within, within reason. KTRK legal analyst Joel Androfi says employers put together these social media policies largely to protect their reputations. And this post isn't sitting well with members of the Muslim community in Houston. Our public servants don't just protect one part of society, they protect all of us. They work for all of us, they help all of us. And, you know, and so it's very important for us to all feel comfortable uh, dealing with people that have some authority over us. As of tonight, the HFD employee is on administrative duty, and it's up to the city's legal department to review this case and decide what happens next. Now, we'd like to know what you think. Log on to our Facebook page and join the conversation. Sonia Azad, 13 Eyewitness News. And now